as late as the Thursday before the weekend shooting death of Christian Broder earlier this month. We're told that the 17-year-old accused of killing Broder, Jaden Myrick, was here at the Public Library on Metropolitan Avenue in Southwest Atlanta, where Myrick was supposed to be studying for his high school GED. That's what Myrick's counselor and life skills coach tells us. Leonard Dungy runs a private youth mentoring program called Visions Unlimited that was trying to help Jaden Myrick. And Dungy says Myrick, who was serving probation instead of a prison sentence for an earlier armed robbery, was, as far as Dungy says he could tell, finally walking the straight and narrow. Mr. Myrick attended daily. Um, he participated. He was working toward his GED. He was uh, uh, gainfully employed. But Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard has told us there is no evidence that Myrick was complying with the judge's probation requirements, but instead was still active in violent gang activities. And in May, Howard asked the judge in the case again to revoke Myrick's probation. But Judge Doris Downs continued to believe that Visions Unlimited, founded by Dungy's mother, Gwen Sands, could turn Myrick's life around. Let's, let's keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, Jaden Myrick is 17 years old. We got him for three months. Who's responsible for the first 17 years? Can't be us. We got him after he committed a crime. All we did was try and get him a GED and help him find a job so he wouldn't be in the street. Dungy says that in the past 12 years, Fulton County judges have referred more than 300 troubled youth to his mother, Gwen Sands. All successful referrals, he says, until now. This is the first time that she's taken a kid under her wing and this tragic situation happened. The judge has told us she cannot comment. We have much more on the judge's decision to sentence Myrick to probation instead of prison, and on the background of the rehab program and its founder, and on the man who was shot and killed on 11alive.com. In Southwest Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.